today we are taking a look at what's in the bag of Hideki Matsuyama, the 2021 Masters Champion. If you are enjoying this video, smash that like, subscribe to my channel, comment your thoughts down below and let's dive straight in. So for those of you who don't know, Hideki, obviously Japanese, he is sponsored by Srixen. It was an amazing Masters win, let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. He has a quite an interesting bag, it is a little bit mixed, so it's quite an interesting bag to look at. It's not kind of one of the you know top three or four brands like Titleist, uh, TaylorMade, Callaway, anyone like that. It's, it's got some unique clubs in it that we maybe don't see every day, and we're going to be taking a look at what's in his bag and why he is using some of these clubs. So let's dive straight in and let's go for the driver first of all. Hideki Matsuyama is using the Srixen ZX5 9.5 degrees in loft. He has it set to flat and he has the shaft as a graphite design Tor AD. This is kind of a similar shaft to like the what we see Jordan Spieth using quite a lot, that iconic orange and kind of the bands wrapped around it. So it, by the way guys, I haven't really used Srixen clubs before, so if any of you have, comment down below. I'd love to know what you guys think of them. I've used the golf balls quite a lot, and they're obviously pretty impressive. So let me know what you guys think of the clubs. If you have any Srixen woods, irons, or if you've tested any of the latest gear, I'd love to know. Next, we dive into the three wood. Now, this is quite an interesting one, because although Hideki is sponsored by Srixen, he actually does have some other clubs in his bag. So the three wood is the TaylorMade Sim 2. This is obviously the new TaylorMade Sim, the Sim 2. He has this in the titanium head, so this is the smaller head, it's not the Sim 2 Max. So he obviously must prefer that smaller head setup to the slightly larger one. It tends to be slightly lower spinning, slightly less forgiving as well. If you've ever tried them out, they are quite small heads. I personally prefer the slightly bigger shape of the Sim 2 Max, but that's just personal preference. I've actually got the TaylorMade M6 3 wood in my bag and absolutely love that. He has this again in the shaft, um, Graphite Design Tour AD TP9TX. Then we move into a driving iron. He has, again, tailor-made Sim UDI 3 iron. He has this in a True Temper Elevate Tor X100 shaft. Quite interesting here. He doesn't have a 5 wood. He goes straight into a driving iron. And it's also not a 2 iron. It's actually a 3 iron. It's quite interesting. You'd expect him to be able to hit that club probably you know, 230, maybe even 240. He's quite a long hitter. And by the way, guys, in the next video after this, we are going to be having a look at Hideki Matsuyama's golf swing. So if you want to see that video, make sure you check it out on my channel and also make sure you are subscribed. So we have some tailor-made clubs there in the bag. You know, it's not all Srixen and we're gonna see that a little bit later on in the bag too. So now the irons. I have to say these are, in my opinion, probably some of the best looking blades out on the market. I've never really had much desire to try many different tricks and irons, but these definitely look really cool and I would love to give them a go. He has the Srixen Z Forged irons in 4 to pitching wedge. Now, if you haven't seen these irons, check them out. I think they look pretty cool. They almost look kind of like a little bit Mizuno-esque. I'd love to know what you guys think. Comment down below what you think of these irons. I think they look awesome. They obviously are working for Deki. His iron game was pretty incredible this last week. He has these in the True Temper Dynamic Gold Tour Issue S400 shafts. Haven't tried those shafts, but I do have True Temper dynamic gold shafts in mine. I think they're the S300, I believe. Although I haven't actually tested any new shafts recently. I probably need to do a new shaft fitting in my own golf bag. Next, we dive into the wedges. Now this, again, is quite interesting. It's not Srixen, but I guess it's kind of the same company. He has the Cleveland RTX 4 forged prototype wedges. 
He has these in 52 degrees with 10 degrees of bounce. He has a 56 with 8 degrees of bounce. And a... Oh, he has 4. Oh, the 56 is actually set to 57 and a half. And he has a 60 degree, which is actually set to 62 degrees at 8 degrees of bounce. Sorry, a bit complicated there. So he has 52 degrees, 56, but it's set to 57.5, and then a 60 set to 62. Quite a lot of loft on your wedges there. I go 50, 54, 58. Nice three, uh, four, four degree differences. He's got a kind of five and a half degree difference. And then again, a kind of four and a half degree difference. So yeah, quite interesting there. His wedges look quite cool. They're quite plain. The grinds on them are quite interesting. It's quite interesting. You can see that like he's got the kind of sole worn down quite a bit. So he can open that club up if he needs to, which is definitely going to be useful. And he played some incredible chips and pitches around Augusta. Like, apparently chipping and pitching is one of the strengths of his game, so you'd imagine these wedges get a lot of use. And good to see that he's got more loft in the bag there. Maybe a message to all of us that we could do with a bit more loft getting the ball up in the air. But then again, these guys are playing on a lot firmer, faster greens than we are most of the time. Next, we dive into the putter. He has the Scotty Cameron Newport 2 GSS putter. Now, it looks pretty awesome. You probably got some up-close good looks of it at the Masters this last week. He rolled in a lot of putts, putted really, really well, and yeah, it's, it's a pretty badass looking putter. Also, the GSS version is the uh, German... Uh, higher quality like material they are very expensive apparently they feel very very soft off the face they're pretty rare to get and they're going to cost thousands and thousands for that putter even though it's normal scotty cameron just a few hundred for these special gss versions they're going to cost thousands he has these in the lampkin deep etched full cord grip um, yeah, looks like a good putter. It is actually interesting that more tour players now are switching to mallet head designs and less players are using blades. But you have to say, I mean, I use a mallet head, but a classic blade like that does look pretty cool. He's obviously got it all blacked out there as well. It does look pretty awesome. Next, we go into the ball. He's using the Srixen Z Star, uh, what's that, the 15 XV? Um, I have, actually haven't really tested this ball, to be honest. I've been using mainly Titleist Pro Vs and uh, TaylorMade TP5s the last few years. Just a mix of each, I kind of find either work for me. If any of you have tried this ball, comment down below. I'd love to know what you think. I did used to use a lot of Srixen balls, and they were always pretty good. He has the grips of all his clubs, Io, Iomic X. They're kind of plain grips. Uh, they are quite tacky. But yeah, pretty standard, quite, quite similar to like a Tor Velvet-ish, I think. Yeah, so seems like that is Hideki Matsuyama's What's in the Bag. Let me know what you guys think of all that. It is quite an interesting What's in the Bag, really. There's a lot to look at, a lot of different clubs for different reasons. You can kind of see looking at that, maybe how he hit some of the shots he did around the greens with some of those wedges and why he uses some of those clubs. Really interesting to see those tailor-made kind of three wood and driving iron in there as well. And yeah, Srix and irons, might have to give those a go. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Remember, I will be doing a full video breaking down Hideki Matsuyama's golf swing in slow motion, ultra HD. So make sure you guys check out that video on my channel. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. As always, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Do make sure you are subscribed, like this video, let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you guys have to think. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. As always, grip it and rip it.